All right then, it's time for India versus Australia in the first semi-final of the T20 World Cup 2023. Now we know that whenever India and Australia face each other, they produce some high intensity contest and it's a World Cup semi-final. So we can of course expect something like this in this match as well. But what are the other things that you can expect from this match? Who are the players to watch out for? I have got you all covered in Mutual Fund Sahih Presence, The Outside View. Suna hai, you are selling your scooter. Yeah, got a new car. Sahi hai? Big bonus. To? Savings. Saving to main bhi karti hu, se car nahi aad. मैं काफी सालों से हर महीने म्यूचुअल फंड्स में थोड़ा थोड़ा सेव कर रही हूँ कुछ फंड्स बेच दिए वॉट न्यू का सही है म्यूचुअल फंड निवेश बाजार जोखिमों के अधीन है योजना से जुड़े सभी दस्तावेजों को ध्यान से पढ़ें। Let's start with the match details out there. I know that even if I don't say that, you have to tune in. You are going to tune into this contest because who will miss a India versus Australia semi-final game? The action is going to shift to Cape Town, 6:30 p.m. IST. What's the big picture out there? Well, Australia, the mighty Aussies, are unbeaten in this tournament so far. They have just lost one game ever since they've landed in South Africa, and that's the warm-up game they played against Ireland. Apart from that, no team has found a way. to defeat australia then speaking of india they've lost just one game that was against england but apart from that team india has also dominated the proceedings in this contest if we have to talk about the head to head stats there well the teams have so far faced each other in 30 t20is and australia has an edge there but hey australia has an edge over every other team in this world but what india would be sure is that they have never given up They've always fought for victory against Australia, and that is why we've always seen some really good contests between the two sides. History has no takers. Recently, Australia taught India for a five-match T20. As even there, we saw some really good competitions in the Commonwealth Games. The finals we saw India Australia face each other, where Australia won the gold. India had to settle for silver. But this time around, it would be in the minds of Harman Preet Kaur that they have to get that one step ahead and reach the finals. And mind you, Meg Lanning would be thinking no different. So let's see what happens. So if we have to pick a player from Australia, it's such a difficult task because it's a list of star-studded players, and it's difficult to choose one. But if I have to go ahead with one player here, then it's going to be Beth Mooney. Beth Mooney loves to bat against India, and we all know that. Last year, I was like deciding that I want to search for new adjectives to describe Beth Mooney. She hasn't looked at her absolute best in this tournament. She has that one half century to her account. But against India, there's a different Beth Mooney altogether that we get to witness. So I guess Beth Mooney is going to have a good time in this match in India as well. We saw that it was all about Meg Mooney creating that magic once again. Can we see something like that in this match? Well, we'll have to look at that. From India, I'm going ahead with the skipper herself, Harman Preet Kaur. Now it's very simple. India versus Australia, a World Cup semi-final. How can you not talk about Harman Preet Kaur? She too enjoys playing against Australia there, some competitive matches, and she is the highest run getter for India versus Australia in the T20I format of the game. Along with her captaincy, her performance down the order with the bat, where India has been struggling a little bit in this uh, entire tournament, would be very important. So, Captain Thor, let's see how she performs in this match. Moving on to the predicted 11s of both the sides for this very important match. First, let's talk about India there. Well, India's top order, we know it's their strength. Smriti Mandana, Shafali Verma, Janima Rodriguez in the middle order. Rija Ghosh, Harman Preet Kaur, Deepthi Sharma with the pace. Renuka Singh Thakur's contributions will be very important. She too enjoys bowling against Australia. We've seen her really pick those important wickets early on for India. Something like that would be expected from her in this game as well. Rajesh Vidhi Gaikwad with the experience of spin. Will Radha Yadav come back in this setup? Uh, well, let's see for that. They will come the IC who are playing in this game as well. Moving on to Australia then. Well, we would be hoping that Alisa Healy comes back because she missed the last game due to her injury there. But hoping that she comes back. Beth Mooney and Alisa Healy at the top. Meg Lanning, you have Ashley Gardner, you have Talia Magra, you have Darcy Brown, you have Valana King. Well, which player are you going to talk about? All of those players are match winners and on their given day, they can just win the matches for Australia single-handedly. But hey, India have always given a tough competition to Australia. So it would be interesting to see how this contest pans out. 
So tell me what are your predictions? Who's going to reach the finals? Tell me that in the comment section below. Let's see if you can guess that right. And for all the updates on women's cricket, stay tuned to Women's Cricket Zone and to Mutual Fund Sahih Presence, the outside.